Okay, folks, today I'm coming from Handicap Travelers and Mrs. Travelers Abode. Um, we went out earlier to make a video, and it, because of computer issues, you all are going to have to wait for me to get that one together. But I could get on the computer and tape a video, and I decided to show you some of my collection. Uh, today I should be showing the Moose collection. Have some shout outs at the end. Um, and as you all know, I love moose. You've seen the big moose and the moose signs already if you watched in my introductions to my other videos. So today I'm going to show you I have a, another sign that Mrs. Traveler bought us for our 25th anniversary. Uh, Hopefully I can get all that on. The King of the North. It's special because she got it for the 20, my 20, our 25th anniversary. We actually found that at, a, at the Maumee, Ohio Antique Mall. And uh, we, uh, we were there because we went for a bird watching trip. You've heard me mention Marsh McGee. McGee Marsh. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, folks. But anyhow, you've heard me mention that before. That's where we were, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we were going to have a renewal and a big celebration, but a certain disease interfered with that. So things started reopening few months after our anniversary so we went for a trip and stayed in a motel and we were able to go and Mrs. Traveler bought me this sign and I bought her a teddy bear because Mrs. Traveler collects teddy bears and here's a colorful moose this guy came from the Columbus Zoo uh, Wow, we went there when I bought that five, six, oh wait, no, even more than that, I'm trying to think. Anyhow, a while ago, because our son was going to Ohio U at that time and drove up and met us there, and then I have... A moose license plate. Uh, celebrate America's wildlife. The American Expedition. And I'll be honest, I'm not sure when I got that. This is a hand carved moose. So the start of my collection. I bought that at the Painesville Flea Market in Painesville, Ohio, which actually now is where I um, set my booth up and sell stuff, but not moose stuff. And here we have one of my favorites, which unfortunately must have got broke, but I'll show you the side that's not broke. My wife gave me that for Christmas one time. Here I got a Christmas moose cup that my eldest son and grandkids gave me. I have a moose farkle game, which my youngest son gave me for Christmas one year. Another one of my moose, and his eyes make him look kind of possessed. I don't know if you can see the color of his eyes. And again, I'm not sure where I got that one. This, I think, is a cool moose. And some good friends of ours gave me that for Christmas one year. Then I have this guy here. Kind of with the itch.
that's just a few of the moose things. They have some other signs hanging on the uh, wall that I just didn't feel like getting off the wall to show you. And I have another moose that just broke, so I got to glue it back together. Hopefully it works. Hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of the moose collection I have. Um, and as I said, I wanted to give some shout outs. So since I was showing you my moose collection, figured I'd share some channels that I've really been enjoying watching that deal a lot with nature or farming, harvesting type uh, channels. First one I'm going to shout out here is Mama Bear's Cooking and Adventures. She has cooking on her channel, but also she has a backyard cam that shows these uh, Mama Bear and three bears. And I tell you what, she had one recently where some coyotes were showing up and the Mama Bear took them on. That was, it was a Fun video. You don't mess with the mama bear when you're coming around her cubs. Another uh, channel that I really enjoy watching is Crane Pond State Game Area. My game camera videos. And they are it's another cam set up catching deer, raccoons. I just watched uh, one of their videos where the deer came up to sniff the camera. You could hear it and see it. And then it walked away because as their little, uh, they had a thing of bass. Doesn't, doesn't smell like it would taste good. Uh, one that I just kind of stumbled upon recently is the Keystone Hiker. And he goes for hikes through the woods and paths that I used to like to hike on but cannot do anymore. And I enjoy going with him. And he um, has commentaries and shows you a lot of different nature and wildlife. And along those same lines is the Wandering Woodsman who also goes for hikes in areas that I really can't get to anymore. Um, I think I mentioned him already, too, because he's talked about different, shows different flowers and tells you what they are. And sometimes he's like me and says, I'm not sure what that is. A neat one that I've been watching also is Char Avery and Princess. And she's made friends with the squirrel. And it's videos of her and the squirrel. Mostly the squirrel. But they're amusing and very cute. And I enjoy that. Uh, one that has. That is um, um, a lot of videos of their dogs. And I love dogs. Uh, Mrs. Traveler took Lucy outside right now because she was barking insistently and you wouldn't have even been able to hear me. So she's outside. You won't get to see her today, unfortunately. Or Mrs. Traveler since she brought Lucy out. Um, but anyhow, the video, the channel that I wanted to shout out here is Lucky Dog Productions moderator, and as I said, her videos are of the do of her dogs, and I just I love them. I love a lot of the animal videos or people showing their videos. The last two are or three, I should say, is more of a farming, and but you learn a lot about. Uh, plants and agriculture and that's digging for health it's a really good channel check it out help them grow and another one is learn your land who he 
goes out in the woods or fields and shows you edible plants that are from the wild and also teaches you about the trees. I've also mentioned his videos on some of my other ones because he's really taught me about nature. And as I told you, this one is not necessarily nature related, but every shout out video I have, I'm going to shout out Shadow Street, who is my granddaughter. She actually does have a couple videos with animals on it too, because she loves animals as much as Mrs. Traveler and I do. And Lucy and Mrs. Traveler came back in. Can I get Lucy on here? Hi. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that look on our face. Like, what are you doing? And not sure if you heard her, but she did the old Gracie Allen thing saying, Hi, Mrs. Traveler. So the links will be down below. And I hope you all have a great day. And remember, anything you need to help you, walkers, canes, they're not making you handicapped. They're making you handicapable. Have a great day.